Matthew 5 verse 5 Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Happy, fortunate, to be envied are those who are walking in meekness and with meekness. What is it all about? It's all about being teachable, flexible. When I'm walking with that type of meekness, that I'm teachable, I'm flexible, I'm always willing to change Yes, then I can inherit the destiny, the destiny with impact for that what God has for me here on earth. I can inherit that what God has for me, the dream that he has in his heart for my life here on earth. Let it be so, my brother, my sister. Yes, we need faith. We need faith to change. When there can be stress and anxiety, uncertainty, especially in a season like this. Then we want to take control and the fears are rising up. We want to be in control. We want to take control. And if we can be in control, then we think fear can, fear can go and fear will be gone. But to surrender to God, we need the faith to say, God, be in control. We are open to change. We are teachable. And then when I can understand how to walk with such a heart of flesh, then God can do whatever He wants to do in and through my life and I can see my destiny. I can inherit the promises of God that He has for my life. Let it be so. May you be challenged not to walk with unforgiveness, bitterness or uh, offense, all those things, even fear and stress and all those things in your heart. But allow God, by faith, to bring a change, to touch you in a very special, deep, intense way. For if you allow that and you say, God, I will be teachable. Here I am. Show me. I'm safe with you. But if you believe you will be safe with him, then you must always accept the challenge to change. Let that be your attitude to be so teachable. And God will bless you. God will bless me. And we will inherit. doesn't matter what is being shaken and all the shaking around us. I challenge you for that attitude. I challenge you for that lifestyle. Oh man, that was with Moses. A man with meekness. Yes, that was a man like Joshua. He had to be open to change, open for new strategies for every next day. Open, teachable, and in that process of that quality being built into his life, he could lead the people into Canaan for them to possess the land. Let it be so. For you, let it be so for me. In Jesus' name, that's my prayer for you. May God bless you and may you stand with this and just bring it before the Lord. And if you need to repent, let it be genuine with brokenness because you're walking with honesty and humility. Then you will understand and you will see, you will see your destiny unfold and you will be excited, not just about God's dream for you, but you will see the dream and you will walk into that dream with your God, with your master. Sit with your master. He's excited to speak to you. He's excited to speak to you about tomorrow, about this year, about your destiny. Have a blessed time. Have a blessed day.